check this out. This is the all new Festly electric guitar that you can get on Amazon right now for only $124.85. And it comes with a pretty nice gig bag and free shipping. I'm gonna make a declaration right here, right now. You will not find a better guitar anywhere. I don't care where, Amazon, anywhere. You will not find a better guitar at this same price. I have checked out a lot of guitars under $200. I've reviewed a bunch of them on my channel. You guys know that. And I can tell you, without a doubt, this is by far the best out of all of them, any guitar that's under 200 that I've checked out. And even some that are more than 200. You know that black Harley Benton guitar that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago? This totally blows it out of the water. I'm not kidding. Don't believe me? Check out this brand new song that I wrote and recorded on this guitar just for this video. makes this guitar so great? We gotta talk about it. Okay, first of all, it's a dinky. I was amazed when I was browsing on Amazon one day, and I'm always looking on Amazon, eBay, and various places, and looking for different affordable guitars. And I came across this guitar for the first time, and it immediately grabbed my eye because I was like, that's a dinky, a real dinky. How often do these companies that make like the cheap, affordable guitars, how often do they make dinkies? Oh, like almost never. All this kind of like cheapy guitars that you see on eBay, Amazon, whatever, most of the time it's always the Strat shape with the pick guard and the three single coil pickups. And I'm talking about guitars in this price range, like $125 or lower. Yes, when you go a little bit more expensive than that, then you run into like the Les Paul copies and other guitars like that. But in this price range, like barely over a hundred bucks, you can't find like a dinky like this. No way. Okay, but it's not just the shape that makes it a great guitar. Another amazing thing, 125 bucks. So you'd think like everything on the guitar or you would expect 
that all the hardware and everything would be the cheapest that they could use, right? No, it's not, totally not. The bridge is actually way nicer than the really cheap bridges that they put on those cheap guitars. Check out the bar, okay? Now you know how those cheap guitars are, right? They, they put the bar in there, you screw it in, and then even when you get it like almost tight, it's like kind of loose and clanky. Not this bad boy, check it out. It's a pop-in. There's no threads on it. You don't screw it in. So it literally pops in and check it out. Stays where you want it. It's a really nice quality bridge and bar. All right, let's go over the rest of the specs. Two tones, one volume, a five-way switch, a humbucker in the bridge, two single coils. The body is made of poplar and this has a really nice thin finish and it's a matte finish so there's no high gloss clear coat like again you see on all the cheap guitars it's really nice it feels great oh man that feels nice you can see the wood grain underneath the neck of course is maple the fingerboard is maple it's got 22 frets it's got i i think it's a plastic nut but i have to say if that's a plastic nut that is the best job on a plastic nut I've ever seen on a guitar. The height of the strings are absolutely perfect for each string. They really did a good job. It's not all bulky, it's not sticking out on the sides, it's not too high up, like again, you see on a lot of the cheap guitars. It's got one string tree on the headstock. Check out the tuners. These are the vintage style tuners. Normally, I would prefer the more modern looking tuners like you see on all my other guitars, and I, I, when I first saw that, I was like, eh, I don't really like the looks of the Vinci style tuners. However, just like everything else on the guitar, they didn't use the cheapest thing that they could get. These are actually really nice tuners and nicer than a lot of tuners that I have on my other guitars. They turn great. None of them stick, none of them turn too easy. And actually, technically, these are easier and better to use than the other tuners because they have like little contours where you can put your fingers. So, nice tuners. The jack is over here, back of the guitar. I do have to say one thing that I would have liked better is if the, uh, the cover for the trim cavity, it would be nice if it was recessed so that the cover was like down in instead of sitting up on top of the body. But really, that is for looks only. It makes absolutely no difference. When the guitar is sitting like this and I'm playing it, you can't tell that it's like that at all. All right, guys. What is the most amazing thing about this guitar? Not all the stuff I talked about so far the secret weapon. What makes this the best guitar that you can get on Amazon right now for 125 bucks or anywhere for 125 bucks? It's the neck! What happens so often, guys, when you buy these cheap, affordable guitars that are made in China, they've got the huge, thick, baseball bat, rounded neck. This one does not. Oh my gosh, they finally got it right. It's got the thin C-shaped neck. This neck profile is almost exactly like my Charvel DK24. That's what makes it so comfortable for me to play. That's what makes it so easy for me to play, to shred on. The neck, it's not too fat. It's narrow at the nut like it should be. It's not too wide down here. You know, it's, it's great. The frets. This is one thing that I do wish that they did differently it doesn't have the big jumbo frets like you would find on a Charvel or a Jackson or an Ibanez, um, but they're not teeny tiny, they're okay. And because of the fact that the neck shape and the profile is so good, um, the smaller frets are like not a problem at all. It's, just, it's still really easy to play. Now I'm not gonna say that the fret work on this was amazing and perfect, it's not. If I go over it with my fret rocker, there are some uneven spots. But I will tell you that it was not necessary for me to do a fret level. In fact, I didn't even have to take the strings off and polish the frets with steel wool like I have to do on a lot of cheap guitars. I didn't have to do that on this. The frets are great the way they are. How about sharp edges, guys? How about sharp edges? Barely. It's so barely that I haven't even bothered to try to file any of the fret edges. It's so slight that I barely even notice it. Okay guys, I do wanna give you another demonstration with the guitar. Remember I said it's got five, a five-way blade switch and two tone knobs and three pickups. That gives you practically 
endless tone possibilities. So I'm just gonna play a lick through each position on the blade switch just so you can get an idea of what the five different positions sound like. I'm not gonna mess with the tone knobs because I could sit here all day doing like a million different combinations. I'm just gonna go through the five positions. Check it out. Full disclosure here guys, they did send me this guitar, but they didn't approach me. I found the guitar on Amazon and I emailed the company and I said, it looks really cool. I'm really interested. I would love to review that on my YouTube channel and they agreed to send it to me. Then after I got it and I played it and I was so impressed with it, I emailed the company just saying I really like the guitar and I just asked them a few questions about the guitar and I want to read to you what they wrote back in response to me. And I think after you hear what they had to say, it might give you a little more confidence about the quality of this guitar. And if you're wondering why I keep looking over there, it's because now I have the guitar sitting over there. All right, here's what they said. We are a team that loves music deeply and the product designers are all from major music colleges. We also like Charvel, Jackson, Ibanez and their design. I often recall the first electric guitar I bought. Because I didn't have enough budget, I gave up the traditional brand electric guitar with good quality and chose an ordinary electric guitar. However, that electric guitar had no design, rough workmanship, low-end materials, and poor wood. I still remember my poor experience at that time. Our original design intention is to design an electric guitar with a simple and fashionable appearance, practical materials, professional wood, and low cost from the perspective of beginners so as to give beginners a better experience. Therefore, we have established a team of senior product designers with decades of experience and found the factory that produces guitars for Fender to cooperate to ensure product quality and wood. It can be said that Thessaly is a cross-border product with the quality of similar electric guitars for thousands of dollars, but it is sold at a lower price. All efforts are for the better development of music beginners. And that's it. I know I'm going on and on about how great this is, and I don't want to give anybody the wrong idea. This is not like a a $2,000 guitar. This is an exceptional $125 guitar. That's it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you next time.